afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. It's Astros baseball on the show. Next. Zach Grinke is on the mound for Houston in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Stepping into the box, Brett Gardner. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. First hit. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. A 3-0. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Reddick at the track. Gone to lead off the inning. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. Number 10 for him on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. This guy has some pop. You can't just lay one in there. What happens? He leads the game off just like that. It's one nothing. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Good. First pitch on its way. Grinky, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate, and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, yeah. D-Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? That he fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place yeah. to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. 0-1 the count. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. 
This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job that bouncing back from that home run Detective. to strike out the Gary. next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. He'll check in here at 277. A dozen home runs and 29 driven in. The 1 0 home. And it's fouled away. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And it's two balls and two strikes now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. But another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. Bottom of the first coming up, and it's an early 1-0 New York lead. James Paxton is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What do we need to know here, Danny? We're looking at one of the top pitchers in the league right now. Solid win total from last year, and he'd like to win a whole bunch of games in this new season. He's a good pitcher, and he normally pitches good at the beginning of the season, and he rides that storm out all the way through the end. Go. It'll be Before interesting Astros, to see what kind of start he gets fielder, off to this year. Michael. First pitch coming. Brent Here Brent. it is. A ball and no strikes. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. The 1-1. One, one. Yep, that ball went out. Nope. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton, he brings a 4-for-12 line. The 3-1 pitch. Hey! Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. That some say it has more the bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. Right, it just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Weak grounder back to the mound. And there are two away now. Batting third, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. So coming to the plate, Jose Altuve looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Paxton has his sign. Here's the pitch. 1 0. -oh. Breaking ball called just a bit low. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was Batting thinking too right out of the, the box. Hitter. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle Alvarez. to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Late now, Jordan Alvarez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. The set and the 1 0. Two balls and no strikes. Tread lightly in this situation. Got a great hitter at the plate, runner in scoring position. Don't be afraid. He got the base open. The set and the 2 and 0. Taken but called a strike. Altuve at second with two down. to two and two now two balls, two strikes. and the cutter got him swinging strike three and the side is retired danger averted following the two out double more from the show Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Here's the second baseman DJ LeMahieu comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. LeMahieu. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1 and 0. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 2 1. Slapped hard the opposite way. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Oh, and a highlight reel no catch there, no doubt. Cool. He laid out the sacrifice his body, brought it in, and secured it all the way to the ground. You know his pitcher really appreciates an effort like that. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. And a ball one and oh. Count one and oh. Here it comes. At the ball. Two and oh. Three oh, and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Hit sharply on the ground. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. 
Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept that, it in that, front of him. That's, a, that's, that's, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You don't deal with a spot like that. Urshela. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Into the box now, Gio Urshela. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's just out. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting it. The third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the belt, the pitch. A runner on first with two away. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. And a fastball. Called strike three, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Here's Carlos Correa now. A couple of hits for him in four, four trips to the plate throw. last night. The shortstop, Carlos Correa. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Joel Springer. George Springer, the next to hit. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ballgame last night. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. 1 0. Haxton, a 6 4 lefty. He was a fourth round selection back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything. And that's exactly what this guy has done. And he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on deck circle. One out, nobody on. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Batting seven. The right he field. almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in Ready. slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He went deep in the contest last night. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. Oh. 
That's taken for a ball, and it's one and one now to the Astros right fielder. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. All even now, two and two. And he Where takes ball it? three, so it's a full count now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. So striding in, Yuli Gurriel, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Pops this one up. Void in foul ground. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting ninth. The catcher. Martin. Maldonado. So it's first and second with two men gone. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. With runners in scoring position this season, Maldonado is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. These are the stats the oppositions look at. Being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. One and one the count. Two down, runners at first and second. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Fastball. And mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Well, two on, two outs. And he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3-1, and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. He fouls it straight back, and whoa, that almost landed in our booth. Two men are on with two men out. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. More of the show. Saturday baseball after this. Riding in, Luke Voigt, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First baseman, Luke Voigt. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. 
but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here it comes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. And he fouls this one off. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And right into the shift. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The white fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. So digging in now, Aaron Judge. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. Eight. Two out, nobody on. And it's one and one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here. Middle of the order guy is coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get to count your favorite. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And this one misses for ball four. And the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in now, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set and the pitch. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Two out with the man at first. Ball three. Three and two now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Three, two pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four. And that's back to back walks now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. So two on with two away. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at bat. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. A 
swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They lead it one to nothing. Back to the top of the order now, and Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. The left fielder, Michael Brantley. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he misses there, one and two. The bouncer to the left side. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Adapt and persevere. That's what I always Third said on the offensive side. Down in the count Allen. right there. Batter hits a ground right ball there. the other way. He's able to fight off a tough count and get himself a base hit. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. One one. I got two one the count. Ball that's in. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. The bat. Boy, oh boy. The second base That's man. a tough one for okay. the pitcher. He's definitely oh, wondering where bad. the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Striding in for Houston, Jose Altuve. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. The 0-1 delivery. Ball. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. First and second here with nobody out. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The 2 1 pitch hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Stanton has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Up next to the Astros, the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Runners are at first and second with one away. 
Big swing and a miss at the fastball. He's behind in the count 0 and 2. Two mid 90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Line to the right side, but foul. Ready with the 0 2. Pitch is way outside and he can't even get a glove on it. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that no pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think it can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. As he'll swing and hit this one hard but foul off to the left and out of play. Two on two out for him here in the third. Breaking ball that time but misses out of the zone. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Here's the 2-1. Ripped on the ground to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Yankees one and the Astros nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box as we begin the top of the fourth. D.J. LeMahieu. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ball. The wind-up and the 1-0 pitch. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Fouled away. The one two. Ball two. Two ball, two strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Shortstop. Time now for Labor. the Astros' road to the Four. show report as we get a look at a couple of players making some noise in the upper levels of the minors. Stepping in now, Torres. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Rip down the first base line. And that gets through for a one out base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. 
And he is in at second base with a one out double. Well, he was definitely now struggling that, coming that into this one, but I think we could say the, uh, that cold streak is officially yellow. over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. One run on three hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. It's one and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and now that trying to protect before feet. the ball even left the pitcher's yeah. hand. That pitch wasn't even hard. close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar yeah. as he takes a cold strike at the knees. Oh, it's 0-1. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. Digging in, George Springer will start Fort things Astros. out against James Paxton no, as we get the inning underway. Springer. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Nope, that's inside. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Down oh, low, great. and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. So here's Josh Reddick. He's set. Here it comes. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. One ball, two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. 
Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. High chopper to third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. The first baseman, number 10, Yulieski. Jerry Hell. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. The 1-0. Liner towards second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now batting. The catcher, Martin Maldonado. Ready for another chance? Martin Maldonado. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and a borderline call, Maddie. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this AB. See how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Man, that is such a wasted opportunity. Two on, one out. Perfect situation to induce a grounder and get out of the inning. But instead, he's wild, and both runners advance, taking the double play situation away. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Maldonado is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Maldonado behind the ball and two strikes. Trying to send him packing for the second time. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Payoff pitch one more time. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. And things well, are not good. looking Number good here in the fourth inning. That's Michael. the second walk of the frame. Brand good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Torres at the bag. On to Voigt and inning ending double play. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. More of the show. Saturday baseball after this. Set for the start of the inning. Stepping up now, Luke Voigt looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Pitch on the way. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Here comes the 0 1. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Pop 
popped him up. Correa is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting the center fielder, Brett Gardner. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Now the 1-0. And it's fouled away. Grinky ready now. The 1-1. Hit down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. So a good job of going the other way here as he checks in with the one out double. As he tacks on to his total. Currently third best on the Yankee ball club. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Eight. On its way is pitch number 75. Eight. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands the zone. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Again. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Runner at second here with one man out. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame form. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, yeah, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And you can see a five mile an hour difference on their best fastball there. 97 on one hand and 92 on the other. Giancarlo Stanton now. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A long two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Home run number 15 for him thus far as the Yankees move out to a 3 to nothing lead. Most pitchers aren't going to throw this guy much of a fastball to try to challenge him because this guy can hit him a mile just like he did with that swing right there. Impressive power. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. Gary. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. Next pitch will be an even 80 so far for Grinky. The 1 0. He is swung on and missed, strike one. one, ball, one strike. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. 
It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Number 13 for him on the year. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. Yeah, Matty, it's scorching out right now. And they always say when the weather gets hot, the ball starts traveling. Dan, what's your take? Uh, that's exactly what happens, D-Road. Come out of spring training in a lot of the places. It's a little damp. It's a little cold. But when it starts to heat up and get oh, hot and humid, okay. it definitely it's plays definitely. right into the hands of the hitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're taking advantage okay. of the conditions today. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Two balls, no strikes. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. Reined in. On to the first oh. baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead it four to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros offense with Houston's manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've earned five walks in the game. And he said that's not only leading to a lot of run scoring opportunities, but it's also forcing the pitching on the other side to work a lot harder and throw more pitches than they want to. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready for another shot now. Alex Bregman. He'll start Way things out Look here in the home throws. fifth, and it's been the tough sledding thing. for this lineup through Alley. the first half of the game. Bregman. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Now the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And that's through for a hit. Around first. He's digging for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings the we've seen anybody put base. on this guy so far. Oh, He's been throwing the ball oh, really well, bad. but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Digging in once again, Jose Altuve. He's one for two in this one. It's coming. Here it is. Oh, Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive the side and Number the offensive 44. side to send him. And the hitter. outfielder made a strong, accurate throw, but that runner Over was safe. Red. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send a good send in a close play, but it all worked out. So oh. now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. And that's the first out of the inning.
the batter, number one, shortstop, Carlos Correa. Standing in, Carlos Correa. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And Pitch out, nothing doing. Correa, left field and carrying well. Boom goes the dynamite. Carlos Correa with a two-run shot. Number 11 for him on the season as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Here's George Springer, and the starter remains out there despite Let's just allowing the long Number ball. Four. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but George. no indication of that yet. Springer. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. First pitch on its way. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Springer, 30 years of age. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? Well, that's what's deal. so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third. Your not enough please. to qualify for the victory as his bullpen will have to go a Number long 85. way to hang on to the lead. Luis, Luis Sessa, Sessa enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. To the plate now, Josh Reddick. He swings and misses. Throw down. He's there to ring him up. The caught stealing for Sanchez. Very well could have been a hit and run attempt there. But we kind of have to make contact for those to work out. He didn't, and his teammate was hung out to dry at second. Three runs already home here. Fastball right back to the mound. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Five innings complete. The Yankees four, and the Astros three. Digging in now for the Yankees. Torres. He'll lead it off against Zach Grinke to open up the inning. Torres. Here comes the first pitch. 1 0. Now the 1 0. Count even now at 1 and 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Two and two. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Altuve 
onto the grass. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting, designated hitter, Gio Urshela. Stepping up to the plate, Gio Urshela. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope, at the ball. Popped him up. Maldonado moving to his left. Two gone. Now batting. The third baseman. Miguel. And Duhar. Into the box. Miguel Andujar. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. There's a line drive base hit to left field. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. At the plate, Luke Voigt. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Hits are even at seven apiece. Liner towards second. In there, a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, d -roll, that looked like a pretty easy inning to start. All of a sudden, two outs and back-to-back -back singles, runners at first and third. Yeah, they put traffic on them. I, I guess I would throw it back at you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there, and then you get two base hit knocks. Are you even concerning yourself with the traffic on the bases, or are you just trying to execute that next pitch? You know what happens a lot of times, d -roll, You lose concentration. You get the first two out of the inning. You think, hey, I'm going to breeze through this and get this third guy out. Next thing you know, first and third and two out, you have Ladies to make some good it. pitches. You're Josh James please. trots in from the now, bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on Number and two away. On. Here's Brett Gardner now. And he takes ball one. James, a native Floridian. He was taken in the very late rounds during the 2014 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Four, three, our score here as we play inning number six. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. The three and one pitch. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Runners at the corners, two men out. Count remains full. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. 
And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. So here's Yuli Gurriel. Leading up for the Astros, the first baseman, Yuli Esky. Gurriel. Here comes the first pitch. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The 1-0. No, inside. Down a very undisciplined swing there. It's two and one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The 2 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. Marky. They're so tough to get the bat on. Ball and when you've got that auto. good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Martin Maldonado. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 0. Here's one that misses to the Houston catcher. It's two and one now. Now the pitch. There's a strike with the breaking ball. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Too high, ball three. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. I know one the thing. He earned one, that three. free pass right there. Michael. He was tempted with some Red really lead. good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Your Zach Britton please. comes on now, and this now move looks to be all about playing the matchup Number here. 53. Yeah, and I don't think there's any that. doubt about that, man. Richard. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Michael Brantley will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. From the belt, the pitch. Hey. Now the 0-1. Britain, a six foot three inch left-hander. He was selected in the third round or in the first year player draft of 2006. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. 
And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location Third was baseman, excellent because two. if it's put in play, Allen. there's a good chance it's on the ground Mark for a man. double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Stepping in now, Alex Bregman as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Britain's ready. Here's the 0 1. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 2 now. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally, an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Astros leave one. Score holds at 4-3. Ready now, Aaron Judge. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. The right fielder, Aaron. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball, that's inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swung on and missed. One and one. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Reddick, but he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting. Well, it took him till the, the seventh, field. but he gets his first John hit of Carlo. the game here, and that'll extend his yeah. hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his. He didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day. Dan kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, Dero. I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. the belt kicks and deals Count one and oh. looking at his career totals Stanton begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525 certainly a line he can take pride in hit high and deep to right center Springer on the run he gets there to put it away but the runner tags and breaks for third and he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Now batting, catcher, Gary. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Gary Sanchez, is working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Two and oh now. Runner on third, sack fly situation, right? Two pitchers down. Really good job of patience trying to get a pitch that he can lift into the air to drive that runner home. Too That's tight with three. that one. 3 and 0. Oh. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The 3 0 pitch. Yeah. Hey. 
Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up there that hard but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time. Swing and a miss and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well it's been oh, a rough series game. for him at the plate so the far. That's four strikeouts okay. in the first two games so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. At the plate now, D.J. LeMayhew. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Ready with the 1 1. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. And it remains a 4 3 game. Your ben Heller please. gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Ben Heller. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. Leading this up. thing's Boy, far from Alvaro. over even though we're moving the into the back baseball. end of this game. Both only bad. down by one. Oh, All they need bad. to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. No balls in one strike. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field, so the tying runs aboard to kick off the inning. They need to be aggressive right here from the offensive standpoint. Lead off no base matter. hit, Number bottom of the seventh, you're down one. This has hitter. to be the moment they you're scratch down. one across. Alvarez. Standing in now, Jordan Alvarez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this no one. Batter, number really one. important time for Good a strikeout there, guys. Carlo. Tying run at first, so objective Go number Rhea. one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. So now to the plate, Carlos Correa. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. That misses two and oh. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Astro shortstop in front with a three and one count. George Springer is on deck. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Oh. 
swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. At the plate, George Springer. Now Springer belts one, carrying well out to left. Boom goes the dynamite. George Springer puts two on the board with that home run. Home run number nine on the year as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Number 48, Tommy Hingley. Now batting, right fielder. Into the box, Josh Reddick, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh, a hit in two tries for him so far. The 1 0 home. One and two. Two straight. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Astros plate two on the two run home run. We're through seven this afternoon. Houston's out in front five four. Ryan Presley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Digging in to try it again. Torres. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Torres. From the stretch. Oh, that's off the plate. Hey. A ball and a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-1. One, one. I got kept one and two. The fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And in a 5-4 game, let's give you a look at the starter the comparison to see how these two guys stack up against one another. Settling in now, Gio Urshela. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. 
Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. One and O oh the count. And he misses low with it. Two and O. Oh. Two and O. Oh. Now the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. You see a right handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. The 3 1. He swung on and missed, a full count now. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. How bad? No problems Third for eight. him on the mound since he's come out of the yeah. pen to start this inning. That That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. In now, Miguel Andujar. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ball. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Luke Voigt would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out, nobody on. On he swung at ball four there as this is pushed foul off to the right. It's three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And the deficit holds at five to four. Chad Green is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. So Holy stepping Astro. in, Yuli Gurriel. The first he was sat down on strikes Yuli in his Yuli. last at bat. Very hell. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball, well fine. above the letters with the fastball that time. One oh count. Here it is. In the dirt, it's three and zero oh now. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. A three zero. -oh. He's laid off, but in there for strike one. Down to three and one.
the three and one pitch on the ground up the middle Torres brings it in Ah, but the throw will be well late so a good play but it's all for not as now that'll be an infield single the catcher. I know that has to be frustrating well from a pitcher's done. standpoint but nice execution nice hustle bottom line nice hustle pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Maldonado is, of course, a highly regarded catcher, and it's really fun to watch him control the game behind the plate, not only with his glove work, but with the arm as well. He's got a cannon, and it's in the head of opposing base runners every night. Certainly a valuable guy to have on your squad. Yeah, he certainly could have a C on his chest. The captain of the infield, controlling the pitching staff, shutting down the running game, soft hands. I can't say enough about this player. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3-0, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. 3-1. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The 3-1 pitch. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Always tough to issue a free pass, but the especially left, troublesome when you give up a single right, right before that to start the inning. Right we'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Now to the plate, Michael Brantley, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First offering on its way. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will Third be loaded base, now. There's still nobody out. Alan. Boy, Gilo, right we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 and 0. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. The 1-0. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? They get the force at the plate to Voight in time for the double play. Up next to the Astros, the second baseman, Jose. Altuve. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And he fouls this one off. So far this season with runners in scoring position Altuve has a batting line residing in the 290s looking to boost that even higher here. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Second and third two away. Hit softly on the ground to third. Andujar's got it. On to first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. Two left for the Astros. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Roberto Ozuna comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 54, Roberto. Oh, 
digging in and looking for more. Luke Voigt will start things out against Roberto Ozuna, who for his part goes for the save in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing and one. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Skied down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Boyd is retired and there's one away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Lifted the other way out to left center. Brantley is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batter, the right fielder, Aaron. Good. Here's big Aaron Judge. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe oh, once a now. game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And it's quickly 0-2. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. Looking up is Brantley. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! A solo shot here to left as we are all tied at five. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the now day. That, you know what's Let funny, me. Nero, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Ready with the 1-0. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher three and two full count and 
he lays off ball four now the potential go-ahead run is on base here well it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still oh, on his me. mind he had him three and two but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run next will be the cleanup hitter gary sanchez there are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Now a slur is going to bounce up to the plate as he lays off it for a ball. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the 2-0. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball now earlier in this inning. So you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Now batting, D.J. LeMayhew. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amend. Well, if your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, LeMahieu brings a batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. That'll set the stage for the bottom of the ninth, all even at five apiece. Your Tyler Wayne player. remains in the game, number batting ninth and manning left field. Now playing left field, number 14, Tyler Wayne. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez, struggling so far in this one and looking to Astros. erase his 0 for 4 the ball game right hitter. here. Jordan Alvarez. He's set and the pitch. Inside with the first pitch splitter, and it's 1-0. and Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. 1-1. One and one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Now the one and one pitch. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. And a step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Good stop. Carlo. Correa. Riding in once again, Carlos Correa. He's one for four for the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. All one. One out, nobody on. One and one. one, and one. 
threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. A hey, nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put some in the gap. Now time is called and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. At the plate now, George Springer, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The 1 0. Swing and a miss, one and one. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Ballman, two strikes. One and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Ball two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Fouled away. In a full count to George Springer, it's 3-2. and two. Josh Reddick waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this. Up next for the Astros. The right fielder. Adam Ottavino yeah. is called upon to get the final two right outs in. of the ninth and send this Ladies one into gentlemen. extra innings. Complete. Now pitching for the Yankees. Number zero. Adam Ottavino. Josh Reddick will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Here's the first pitch. One out. The 1 0. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judge will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. The first baseman, number 10, 
Yulievsky. So digging in with Gurriel. a chance to win it here. Yuli Gurriel as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Here's the first pitch. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. And this is down. And that should do it. No problems here, Houston. The Astros are going to walk off a winner. Always great when a game really comes down to the ninth inning like it did here. They had a chance to walk it off and send their fans home happy, and that's exactly what they did. Lots of smiles around here right now. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. The Strodes came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Roberto Ozuna claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.